Someone who spent a lot of time commuting must have influenced the layout of the various pods in the console to accommodate everything from mobile phones to MP3 players in a space that makes sense. With a high roof line, there is something in the Venza you usually don't find in mid-sized sedans and many SUVs. Rear seat space. Well, it's about time. Rear seat room that's comparable to what passengers in the front seat get. These are rear seats that also recline to make long road trips in the Venza bearable. The vehicle also comes with a new 2.7 liter four-cylinder engine as well as the three and a half liter V6 already used in the Highlander SUV. In a rainy day of testing around the Pennsylvania-West Virginia border, the smaller power plant proved it could handle most of the driving situations. The V6 of course delivered more torque, but it was almost overkill unless a small trailer was being towed. What the Venza does do well is handle curves and turns more like a sedan than an SUV without the top heavy feeling. If mid-sized crossovers become as dominant as sedans have been, Toyota will find the Venza can be a competitive player in this segment. This is Greg Morrison.